Hello everybody, I am Just Lance, and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. A um, couple little quick things to do since that last video, so you want to be a wet shaver part 4. I've picked up two new subscribers. Um, have no idea who you are because your when you know your profile set to private, so when you subscribe to somebody, uh, they don't get notified of who you are. Anyways, whoever you are, number sixty-eight and sixty-nine, welcome to the channel. Um, also, I would like to apologize to um, anyone who commented on that video. Um, there was a you know few of you. I'd like to apologize for not going ahead getting back to you, but I was having issues with my um, back, my shoulder. Um, you know, I was just having, you know, I was a wreck. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, I recorded one video uh, day before or night before last to go ahead and post, but um, I decided I was going to go ahead and, and do something a little different. So, this video. Like the title says, is uh, dedicated to C. Kiefer and um, Trevor B. Because, one, um, Trevor's back. And uh, so, welcome back, guy, to YouTube. And um, what they said in their videos um, got me kind of thinking a little bit, you know. Uh, kind of a little bit thought-provoking. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be using. Um, Trevi B has a Stally Live Blade razor, um, which the mechanism does not work, and he was saying how the handle was, over, was cumbersome because of it being so big on his, one of his um, Wet Shaver Remorse videos, and he said that he was going to go ahead and slap the Stally Live Blade head one of these times on a handle, see how that goes. Well, I figured I'd do it because I've been curious about it myself, but, you know, it's a pretty cool head. Um, and if you're, not curious, if you're not familiar with the Stally Live Blade, go ahead and Google it and you can find out all sorts of stuff. The soap... Oh, the blade in that is a Wilkinson Sword Gillette or Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon blade. It's on its second use. Um, one of my favorite blades. The soap is going to be um, from a sample uh, K Shave Works um, Strop in Bourbon. I went ahead and did the Red Island Shaver way and pressed it down into the bottom of my Timeless Blue Shave Bowl. And I've already used it once. <sighs> My girlfriend, she says it smells like an old diner leather booth in a in a diner, but uh, I love it. You know, if it smells like a 1950s uh, roadside diner, then so be it. Mm, love that scent. The brush will be my Razor Rock 24 millimeter plus soft. Nice Razor Rock logo um, in the barber handle. I like it because it's just solid acrylic. It's a really good synthetic brush. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's get shaving. Oh, real quick, I gotta grab something. Since this Razor Rock is a synthetic brush, or this Flip Soft is a synthetic brush, um, most of you know, just go ahead and get it wet. I'll be back as soon as I go ahead and get a nice lather whipped up in this bowl. See you in a minute. Alright, got my face wet. Yeah, well Trevi B. Well Trevi B was talking about when he on his video where he was, I think it was called I'm Back Baby. And um he was talking about Out for the longest time. Oops. All right, that big old chunk of lather rolled down. How he was just working so hard to build his channel and other stuff. If you saw my video, you'll know what I mean. 
And Carl over on Sea Keeper. He was discussing that too, and they both made me realize something. And, um, which I'm still building a collection, so I'm not done with the collecting stuff yet. Um, you'll know what I mean if you watch that video. Um, but, uh, one moment, guys. But, uh, I'm not gonna worry. They're right, you know. I'm not gonna worry about sitting there and building my channel. If five months from now I have a thousand or two thousand subscribers, dang, got it all up my nose and stuff. Comes along, you know, five months from now if I got a thousand or two thousand subscribers, great. Five years from now if I only have U69 that are currently subscribed or less, that's fine too. First pass with the grain. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to stress anymore on building my channel. Um, I'm just going to let it happen. If it goes over big, wonderful. If it doesn't, no big deal. I didn't grow up famous. So... I don't need to be famous, you know I'm if you, you know, know what I mean guys? So or as Ernest P. World would say, know what I mean, Burn? Yeah, this 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 Stolly head, real nice design. Um I mean, it just cuts really, really nice. Um, it's not a, you know, not an aggressive head, but it is efficient. Just might look for a candle that's worthy of this venerable stally head. In other words, one that I like. And slap it on and just have the handle as a display piece. Anyways, so splash some water up my anyways, I'll be back for past two in a minute. back. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, not going to need any editing right there. I, uh, as far as I'm, my life goes, uh, earlier this month, I started, well, I got back in contact, I've been back in contact with a sister of mine um, from my father's second marriage. Um, I met her when she was very young, about, you know, three, four, five years old, something like that. Um, under five, so, yeah, about three. Um, and, uh, you know, 
her and I really never got to know each other. My brother from out, who's out in Kentucky came out here once to California and uh, we went out to where they live, her and her husband and their kids. One moment. visit it and um, nothing came about from that as far as contact which was on me not my sister that was on me um, I neglected the getting back in touch part because I told her I would stay in contact um, I didn't but anyways this month was and that was when my niece was a little bitty thing Pretty, pretty much a newborn, practically. She's eight now, and my brother, my niece, and nephew, their birthdays are very close. So, they were celebrated together at a place up in Visalia, like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. I mean, this thing had... An arcade, it was a pizza place, they had other stuff, they had a laser tag room, bumper boats, mini miniature golf, golf carts, or not golf carts, go-karts, um, batting cages, I mean this place was just huge, so the end result is we're taking our son, me and my girlfriend, we're taking our son up to where they live for Halloween. So that and helped out some family members. I didn't even know were family members. They're my stepmother, my current my dad's current wife, her granddaughter. They had some stuff stolen out of their vehicle that they was hiding for her son's birthday and the boy's autistic and somebody broke in their car and stole it so we helped them out with some stuff big wheel and some other stuff and they're appreciative so you know kind of made the family connection there anyways one moment So yeah, that was cool, but and then today, I ended up deciding to take a 30 to 90 day hiatus from Facebook because what started me deciding to do it was, I'm not a conservative, I'm not Republican, okay? I have no problem if you are. That's your choice. This is America. We have, you know, more than one party. And um, I made a post on Facebook when the nutball. And that's, I mean, that's the best way I can describe him as a nut job, nutball, whatever you want to say. Um, well, I won't say that. Somebody that had mental health issues. Um, nutball, call him nutball, wet and cool, because he obviously had some sort of issues, and because no sane person does what he did. Um, you know. I mean, Shanae is a Trump supporter, and um, I said that I don't care what side of the aisle you are on politically, that type of behavior, because I was glad that he got caught, and I said, fortunately, he's been caught, or thankfully, he's been caught. I said, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, that type of behavior is never acceptable. Hang on, guys, got an itch. Well...
I wasn't saying anything bad about the president. I wasn't saying anything bad about Republicans. I wasn't saying anything bad about anybody. I just said I'm glad it's, you know, it's not acceptable. And, well, over a hundred comments later, mostly by the same person, um, I was being personally attacked um, and I know it's the internet like Carl said you know let it roll off your back however it was today I was like yeah I think I'm done with Facebook for a while against the grain it's doing quite nice I was like, you know what, what the heck, I'm taking a break from Facebook, and I made a post explaining why I didn't say that it was because I was attacked, and honestly, it's not just one side I see, do it. I see both sides do it at times, um, you know, it just depends on who the person is, you know, I think in today's society with social media, people are like, oh, I got a keyboard and a computer between me and that person, so I get to be a dick. Um, so, that's just my thoughts. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. 60 to 90 day break from Facebook. I'll still, from time to time, drop in on a couple of the groups. Maybe, occasionally. See if there's anybody you know, something that, you know, is important, like family members, but told everybody, if you need to reach me, contact me via messenger. So, or Facebook messenger. So, I've got a lot better things to do than get attacked for making a simple statement that just happens to involve a politician that somebody likes. Anyhow, so yeah, that's the shade. Like that came out nice. It came out nice. Got a couple little spots. Oh, right there. Hang on, guys. I'll do this. But yeah, I've got a four-year-old son. Plus, too, I've been kind of getting lost a little bit in Facebook as of late. Because at least with YouTube, you can do a search and say, blah, blah, blah. It finds it. Um, or check your notifications to the channels you're subscribed to and um, you get the kind of content you want Facebook, cell phone, swipe, 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 
Swipe. Oh, I'll check that. Double tap. And with me, it's like dictation. Do voiceover. You know, do dictation. Text to speak. You know, or speak. You know, uh, voice to text. <laughs> yeah. So for me, a quick check on Facebook can take thirty minutes. So pff, ain't got time for all that BS. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, rinse off here, shave my head, and I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. Hey guys, that was an absolutely beautiful shave. I have a little bit of irritation, but um, yeah, I've got I've I've got razor heads that that you know give me a less irritate that give me more irritation free shaves. Um, broke out a little bit here, but um, you know, one moment. Um, yeah, like I said, I got a little irritation around here and here. A little on my chin, a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit on my neck. So, you know, that head didn't give me the most perfect shave, but my head gave me a pretty good shave on my head. You know, it might be one of those things like it was for the PAA slant, um, open comb slant, uh, big light slant, or like it was for Carl, where the first couple of shaves wasn't the greatest. And honestly, that's only the second time I've ever used that razor head. So maybe I'll get better with it a couple of shaves down the road. But yeah, I mean, not a bad shave. Once I put my post shave products on, the irritation should go away. But I mean, I mean I'm pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. Um, yeah. So, anyways, still working on this bottle of Dickinson's. But yeah, my story about the whole Facebook thing, you know. My point, my main point is, is, you know, people, they take certain subjects too seriously. Politics and religion are two things that some people take way too seriously. And... You know, um, hey, I have no problem what side of the aisle you're on. I have no problem what religion you are part of or what faith you are part of, if you want to put it that way. Um, but, you know, if I disagree with your belief system or, or your ideology, don't go on the attack. <laughs> That's my point, you know. Just, everybody needs to just get along. So, that's why I took my break. But, yeah. Just a couple of drops more. Nivea for sensitive skin aftershave balm. The original. I love this stuff. Now that the weather's cooling, I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, but when it comes to Facebook. <laughs> It's its own beast, so to speak. And hey, my real friends, they'll be there when I go back. <laughs> you know, um, the aftershave is one my girlfriend picked up at the 99 cent store for like a buck 99. And it says, they say it's based off of the fast Ferrari, Ferrari black. Cologne, it's an EDT, so it's got a little spray pump there, and it's called Fast Fast Track Black, all one word, um, and it's, I don't know, but don't mess this up, the, the maker is called Prohom, Prohomen, or Prohomi, anyways, I don't know if I can, I'm pronouncing that right, but it's this, 
and it's actually a Ooh, little bird. Pretty good smelling stuff. Mm, yeah, got some good alcohol content to it. Mm, it's got a nice scent, and it's, I mean, considering it came from the 99 cent store, it's it's got some stain, stain, stain car. Um, you know, uh, I'll put it on, and it'll still be there several hours later. So, for buck ninety nine or whatever it was she paid for it, that's a pretty darn good deal. Anyways, guys, so that's the shave. Um, you know. If you need to reach me, uh, you know how. Uh, so anyways, y'all take it easy and I shall, shall see all of you on the next, or uh, pardon me, I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. And welcome to the Toon Toon subscribers. Bye bye now. Hey guys, I went to edit out the video and there's one thing that I forgot to go ahead and say in the video, which is... I hope all of you and your children have a happy and safe Halloween. Um, go out, have fun with the kids, enjoy yourselves, um, and when you're going through their candy, leave them a little bit of your favorite pieces behind. Anyways, uh, have a good one guys, bye.